Welcome to a Let's Play of Robot Panda. In this video, I wanted to do a little bit different than what I normally do, and I'm gonna do something very decorative. I am going to build a fountain, and I'm going to do that in the middle of a walkway. And here I have uh, this walkway connecting to the other side. I also put some vines up here to kind of see what it looks like, because I kind of feel like some of these walls are a little bit too bare. So I put a vine there and just let it grow and it looks a lot better than just a flat wall. I might end up putting them here on the sides of my sheep and my cows just because it's a really big wall and there's really nothing there. So. I'm going to build the fountain right here. I made this walkway a little bit bigger than I would normally have done it. And this is right in front of my brewing room that I did in a previous video. The only thing that I have really changed in here is adding the chests on the side because I realized I had no storage in here. So uh, they're just filled with bottles and I had the nether wart there and then, yeah, that's it. That's the only thing I really changed. What I am actually going to do here is I'm going to change the layout on this just a little bit because I want an actual waterfall to come down. I'm going to make like a little bridge here that goes down to the other side and that will also act as a bridge so I could get from one side of the ravine to the other without having to come down here or like all the way to the ends and the ends are pretty far away from each other so this is not quite in the middle but it's close enough so I'm gonna build a fountain here and I'm gonna have the water coming down from up on top of the bridge and to do that I do need a middle point for this so I'm going to take that out because that isn't right I am going to make sure that the water falls in here right now these two posts right now mark the middle spot of this bridge that I currently have it built right now I want it to come down on two different spots. So I'm thinking I can't really make this any wider than what it is here this way. So I'm thinking maybe I might just extend it a little bit more out and make this really big. Because at this point I'm at the end right here and I'm gonna have to start building and making my platforms going inside that way. So, but I am going to do, I'm going to do this off camera so <laughs> you don't have to watch me do it. I'm going to extend the platform so that I can have two middle spots in the center so I can build my fountain. Alright, I am done making that and I have made this a little bit bigger. This isn't completely as, as symmetrical as I, as I would like because this would have to be an odd number across. And if I do that, I'm going to lose the symmetry from both sides because I have three spaces here and I have three spaces over here. So I'm just going to have to do a four by five and I'm going to place the waterfall that I want in two odd corners and that should look okay. So right now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to start on the bridge. And I did want to make sure that I marked out the base of the fountain first. That way I had a rough estimate on where I needed to place the bridge up here. And I'm going to have to move those posts, those lampposts. I thought that was going to be the end of the little walkway that I had. I ended up changing my mind as I was recording the video. So I'm going to have to move that over. And I'm also going to put some lights inside of the waterfall just to illuminate it a little bit more because I won't be able to put any torches. Well, I could put torches, but I don't want to. I won't be able to put anything in this little area if it's not inside the water. So that is what I'm going to do there. And I'm going to make this bridge out of stone bricks. And right now, I don't believe this is even here. I think it's two up higher over there. But for right now, what I want to do is get a brick right here. I don't want the bridge to be as wide as this fountain because I don't want it to obstruct any views that I have. So this right here in the top of that is going to be one side. And over here I have this one. So I'm going to fill this in really quick. And right now I'm just going to build a solid bridge with no decorations all the way across. So that way I have something to work off of. 
All right, I have that bridge there and I'm gonna have to take away some of this dirt because this side is much higher than the other side of my ravine. And I'm going to place some stone bricks right there. Mm, probably gonna have to, I'm just gonna leave it there right now because I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. What I do need to do is get a hole that lines up to this bridge from that point right there. And to do that, I'm going to use dirt and I'm going to nerd pult my way up from the bottom just to make sure that I have it completely vertical from those posts that I have down there. It, because the water is going to come down from right there. So I'm going to step, uh, oh, I can't. Okay, and I will replace it with a block of dirt since I pretty much already know that I want that there. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. And let's go one down because I can't really see that well. The bridge is only from here to here. So I'm going to go right there, I believe. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to take one down so I can see a little bit better. And I'm going to take it there. And they should, they do look the same as down there because it's one over and two across. Pretty, I'm pretty sure that it's in the right spot. But now I'm going to go upstairs and before I do any, anything else, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to throw a bucket of water in there and make sure it lands in the correct spot. All right, now I am up and I'm going to see if the water is in the right spot. And that one is, yay! Okay, I'm going to take that away and I'm going to put water there. And that one is also in the right spot. So now... I'm going to cover this with glass. I don't want to have to jump over it in order to get to it. I'm going to place the water right below this glass so that way you can still kind of see down below, but you're not going to fall into the water or anything like that. And I should actually place the ladder here somewhere because I'm going to have to keep going up all the way over here and keep going back. I do want to place in the edge here, so I'm going to place one block of stone. I'm going to put stone all along here, but this isn't entirely safe. Oop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Anyways, that still isn't entirely safe because you can still jump over these. So what I'm going to do to fix that, let's put this back. I'm going to put stone slabs. Ugh. I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put stone slabs in one layer right above these, and that will make it so you can't jump over. And now that I have these here, I was thinking maybe take every other one out and put a stone slab right there. And that way it doesn't quite cut off the view and you can still kind of see through the bridge because if you're right here crossing the bridge it kind of cuts off your view quite a bit so actually I'm gonna keep it like that I'm not gonna put that stone slab in there because I th I still think that it kind of constricts your view so I'm gonna take that away so now my bridge is like that and I still don't think that is decorative enough so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to put one extra stone slab right up there and right here and I'm gonna do this on every other one where I took out a stone brick there we go and then I have that right there and I'm going to have to put a oops I'm going to do that so that way you don't have to jump to get up and over here you don't have to do anything because it's already on the level right here but because this is higher I'm going to fill this up again a little tiny bit and I'm going to make it so that it is only three wide and right up here actually right here I don't know why I dug so much out I'm going to fill this all back up and the grass is going to grow right over that so that way you don't have to jump to keep going across. 
And I still kind of think that the side here is a little too sharp, so I'm going to put some stone stairs right there. I'm not going to do it to the other side because the other side is covered in dirt. I don't really think that is necessary. And I am still going to have to nerd pult a little bit to get up. And I'm going to put in upside down stairs right there. And I'm going to take away the rest of this dirt. It's not really necessary, but I want to make sure that I have something underneath. And dirt is a very good thing to use as scaffolding because it's very cheap, it's readily accessible, and you can just, just easily destroy it when you're all done. And I think I might keep this here for the meantime. And, oops. Okay, I guess I'll just make another one. And I actually, I should make some stairs since I'm here. And since I think I'm going to have to go back up there anyway. So let's just make stairs going up and I think I'm gonna run out of dirt I think I can reach right here let's find out yes I can reach so I'm just going to make this go across so I can use a little bit of scaffolding and put upside down stairs on that one that way I'm going to go down and look at it and that looks a lot better than just having a flat bridge right there I want to enclose those two waterfall pieces just a little bit. I went ahead and just grabbed some more dirt just to make this a little easier. The more scaffolding I have, the easier that this is going to be. So let's run this across on both sides. And I'm going to use stairs for this part, upside down of course, and I'm going to enclose it off but I'm going to make sure that it reaches the end of the bridge. And now I have this right here. Now I just need the water buckets and I'm going to put the water right underneath. Ooh, that, that, it filled everything. I thought it was gonna go straight down. I don't want it to flow all over the place like that. I don't want it to come out like that because I want it to go straight down in a single block. So to fix this, I am just going to put some glass blocks all over to make sure that it does go straight down. And I'm going to take the water out really quick so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's put that there. And I'm going to cover everything. All right, I got the glass in there. And perfect! All right, it is coming down in one single block and I need to get to the other side and I'm going to put that in here. All right, now all I have to do is take away all of this dirt and start working on the actual fountain. All right, I went ahead and got a few more water buckets because I want to make sure that this water is standing which means that on the bottom, any dips like this one is here, I want the water to be level. All right, the water is, I think, as level as it's going to get. So now I'm going to use some glowstone so I can light up the area. And I believe I can put it right underneath and it won't come out. And that actually looks okay. It did raise it up a little bit and it's a little bit of a cone but it doesn't look too bad. So I am going to leave that how it is and I'm gonna have to take out these lampposts and just put them in a different spot. And I wasn't thinking about it before, but now that I have this bridge built, it's, it's pretty dark up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disguise some moonstone here in some way. I'm going to take this block out here and one on the other side. And I'm going to place a moonstone there. You really only need one, but I'm just going to make it two so that it looks symmetrical. So I'm going to take out one there and one on the other side and put moonstone glowstone over on this side. So that way, even if you're really far, you can still see the bridge. But I still have the lamppost piggy. And if you have a name that 
I can use for him, please leave a comment down below. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions on what else I can build, please feel free to leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.